Right, we're back on a bank, uh, match gnats. Um, hopefully we're gonna get a few fish. We're up a local club water, somewhere we haven't really fished much this year. Yeah, we've done a couple of sessions on the floaters, um, on Wivy, but yeah, we, uh, we haven't done anything more than that really, so. So it's known to be a little bit of a runs water. I'm gonna have a little go for the perch. Hugh, I think, is gonna concentrate on the carp. Probably. See if we can get a few fish and uh, yeah, let's uh, crack on. Do it. The uh, breeze is pushing down this way and up on this part at the moment it feels quite fresh but behind that island it's creating a barrier so it's actually quite flat it feels relatively warm so I'm going to start behind the island there's quite a few features for me to have a go at for the perch Hugh's going to concentrate on the carp I am going to fish for the carp as well probably one bolt on each this swim looks quite nice Got a lovely uh, overhanging tree on the far bank, that there, and it goes around the back of the island, which is uh, quite snaggy. But we're going to concentrate first around the back, give it an hour there. If nothing happens, we'll probably move, and we're just going to walk around, try a few different spots, probably put a little bit of bait in a few different areas, see if we can get a few fish. Quite active fishing, going to move around, stay on the go. Keep us safe busy, keep us safe interested, which is uh, important at this time of year when it's cold. You don't want to be sat still for too long. And hopefully, one of us will have something. So uh, anyway, I'm nearly back in the swim. I'm gonna get the rod sorted and uh, crack on, see if we can get on. Let's get on it. Right, this is the rig I'm gonna be using today then. Uh, leg clip, a nice little two ounce bomb on there. About six inches of ESP tungsten hook link, and then down to a slip D on a size six uh, Nash fang. So I've got half a DNA S7 wafter, and that's topped off with four little reg maggots. And hopefully that'll do the business. Just get it in the pond. in the bag, didn't take long. Uh, too bad was it? Took me longer to get the rod out. Yeah. <laughs> Doomed. <Don't. laughs> Have a look. That average sort of size, isn't it? Yeah. Let's get right and have a look. Right, we're off the mark then. Fizz this rod over to an overhanging tree. It's only been in about 20 minutes, half an hour, and uh, yeah, nice little S7 wafter with a four maggot cluster on top, and it's gone rattling off. So uh, great to be off the mark, and hopefully we'll have a few more on this short winter's day. Right then, so I thought I'd just talk you through what I'm doing. So essentially, there's um, a lovely margin to my left-hand side of the swim. Quite a lot of overhanging reed line, um, probably a little bit undercut as well looking at it. So all I've done is lowered the rod in, sort of walked it down the bank, lowered it in nice and quietly, and I'm just little and often putting a little bit of um, my perch ground bait mix. That consists of the DNA, krill mill, a little bit of soil compost from the worms, some chopped worm, and also some reg maggots. Into that I'm putting the SLK Hydro liquid, also a little bit of um, a maggot sort of liquid and um, a little bit of predator um, liquid as well, which is um, real sort of red 
um, heavy sort of red dye colour and that adds a little bit of colour to the water. Predators do seem to home in on like red colour, I don't know whether that's because it imitates blood or um, whether it just switches them on but they do seem to like that sort of colour. And then that creates like a nice cloud in the water column as it's dropping down. Adds a little bit of uh, food items, so a little bit of chop worm, a little bit of maggot, up, but nothing too much that's so going to overfeed them. It's just enough to draw them in, also draws in some of the smaller fish, and just creates an area where um, the perch hopefully will come in and have a look. And if there's any bigger fish around, they're going to come in on the disturbance and um, hopefully pick up the hook bait. Now, um, that's the tactics. Hopefully, it works. Hugh's already had a fish, so his tactics are definitely working, and I'm sure there's a few more fish nearer. So um, yeah, hopefully we can get a few on the bank, but um, we'll see how it goes. What's happened? So Rod's been dancing and dancing all the time, bobbing, going up and down. And I, uh, I've sort of tried hitting a few, but it's just not happened. I was pretty convinced that it's perch, just sort of playing with it a bit. And I've sort of changed the bait it was hooked on and I'm um, dropped it back out there and literally straight away it's just gone bang into the, up to the blank, the bobbin. Pulled round a bit, I've hit it and I've got a reasonable perch. So he's just sat in the net down there. Let's have a look at him. Happy days! Right and so first bite for me, £1.10, just on a little margin spot. I was getting loads of little bites and I managed to um, try something a little bit different and it's um, it's gone off with this guy. Hopefully I can get a few more, maybe something a little bit bigger but it's a nice start. Let's slip it back, see how we get on. Right and so, I finally managed to perch, not a bad one, just shy of about a pound and three quarters so I'm happy with that. Getting a few other tweaks and pulls so hopefully it's going to go again and might get another one. Yeah, for me, I had a carp, as you've seen, very early on. It's all gone a bit quiet since then. Uh, I'm going to introduce a little bit more bait now. I've had, I've lost three, to be fair. One yeah. uh, well, not that long ago, but um, yeah. We'll see if we can uh, get one more before we, we go. It's starting to drop, isn't it? So. Temperature's going, light's going. We haven't got too long, about an hour and a half, I reckon. So enough time to get a few more, hopefully. But it's just whether the fish are going to play ball. Oh, hello. On cue that was. Okay, that's dropped off. Right, not the biggest carp, probably not the best camera work, but one of the rods just gone off. I've had this little carp. So one perch, one carp for me so far. Seems to have gone quite slow, which is quite surprising. But um, this one come on, one of the little DNA 12 mil fruit delicious pop-ups, which have been having a few fish on this winter. So I'm gonna slip her back, see if we've got a chance of one more before we have to go. Right, and so I was just getting loads of um, little pull-ups and stuff on the bobbins where the perch were clearly on the spot and it's got dark and um, the right hand rod pulled up and I thought that was going to go and it's just sort of behind the rods ready for it to sort of hit it and the left hand rod is absolutely banged off and um, yeah I've definitely got carp on this but like that it's uh, been fighting pretty well I'm having to play it on back wings so I'm obviously using quite light gear for the perch and I haven't even seen it yet, and I've probably had it on five minutes, so hopefully it's a reasonable double. It's not actually what I was really after on this one, but um, it's nice to uh, hook some at decent, obviously on this sort of setup, it's a good bit of fun, so see if we can actually get it in the net, because uh, it's proving a bit hard at the moment. <laughs> oh yeah, that is a double. <laughs> get in! Mid double, though, I reckon. On a worm. <laughs> right then, so the perch rod's gone off. A little bit bigger than what I was expecting. Um, I've got a mid double carp. Decided to pick up the worm. I've been putting in a little bit of bait little and often of the uh, perch mix. And um, this guy obviously 
smelt it, come along and had a go. So put up a brilliant fight on a light gear and um, took me a while to get it in, but what an awesome fish to catch. Well happy with that. But um, I'm gonna get a slip back. We're probably gonna have to get going soon, I think. So maybe we'll get one more before we have to go, but we haven't got long. Anyway, let's get her back and um, crack on. That water is very cold. Go down. Right, well, end of the session. The uh, gear is all loaded up. We just about made the gate for six o'clock, so um, not a bad session all in all. Just the one for me. Lost a couple, I won't lie, but uh, that's winter fishing. At the end of the day, at least I didn't blank. But you had a good day out, didn't you? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I started off with a perch, had the one, but then managed to get a couple of carp, and the fish at the end was a, was a wicked fish on a light gear. Um, really enjoyed it, to be honest. So. Hopefully we're going to be out again soon and um, perhaps maybe a little bit more productive on your side next time. But um, uh, it's, it's, it is what it is, isn't it? You know, it's just cold, it's winter, so any bite is uh, a good day out really, I suppose. That's how you've got to look at it. But. Definitely. But um, anyway, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, remember to subscribe to the channel. Hit the um, bell icon for um, up-to-date notifications. Check out the Instagram at The Fishing Bloggers and don't forget the Facebook page, The Fishing Bloggers TV. Well, I guess we'll see you next time, won't we? See you next time, yeah. Thanks for watching, catch you later.